हरे कृष्णा प्रोहिबिशन कैन बी अ सपोर्ट फॉर प्यूरिफिकेशन नॉट अ सब्सटीट्यूट द वर्ड प्रोहिबिशन इज ऑफन एसोसिएटेड स्पेसिफिकली विथ अ बैन ऑन एल्कोहॉल एंड सम स्टेट सम कंट्रीज ऑन रिकोगनाइजिंग दैट इंटॉक्सिकेशन कॉजेज मेरियड प्रॉब्लम्स टू सोसाइटी इंडिविजुअली एंड कलेक्टिवली people ruin their health people indulge in domestic abuse beating up their family members people dui drive under intoxication and uh, cause accidents cause mortalities based on this some some states try to ban alcohol now at one level this is good something which is harmful is banned it's prohibited but quite often the result is the prohibition which is in a particular area and people who are addicted to it they just go out of that area and they indulge in alcohol over there or they underground illegally traffic in alcohol and quite often the standard of alcoholism the the very low levels alcohol which causes sickness far greater than normal alcohol that kind of it is marketed and then things become worse so prohibition is not a solution it is the first step to a solution the real solution is purification so the bhagavad gita talks about how selfish desire kama misleads us and how this uh, it bhagavad gita talks about this in 3.36 to 3.43 and it gives a outline of how we can oh, how this selfish desire kama can be overcome so at one level even at acti- any activity such as the activity of alcoholism it stems from selfish desire from karma and one step in this krishna says that we need to regulate our senses in 3.41 he says tasmat tvam indriya nyadau niyamya bharatarshabha papamanam prajahi yaenam gyana vigyana nashanam so he says tasmat tvam indriya nyadau therefore from the beginning niyamya bharatarshabha regulate the senses krishna doesn't say suppress the senses regulate the senses and in this way papamanam prajahi enam gyana vikyana nashanam that which is very sinful enemy last conquer it oh, conquer it it is a destroyer of knowledge it is a destroyer of realization but the next level he talks about is that actually about the senses in 3.42 he says indriyani paranya hurindriye bhya param manah manasastu para buddhe yo buddhe paratastu sah he gives a hierarchy which says about the senses is the mind about the mind sorry about the body is the senses about the senses is the mind about the mind is the intelligence and about the intelligence is the soul proper and then in 3.43 he states evam buddhe param buddhva samsthabhyatmanam atmana चाहे शत्रु महाबाहो काम रूपम दुरासदम सिद्ध अर्जुन इन दिस वे सिचुएट योर सेल्फ ऑन द स्पिरिचुअल प्लेटफॉर्म एंड विद डेलिब्रेट स्पिरिचुअल इंटेलिजेंस कॉन्कर द एनिमी ऑफ लस्ट कॉन्कर द एनिमी ऑफ सेल्फिश डिजायर सो हियर कृष्णा इज टॉकिंग नॉट जस्ट अबाउट प्रोहिबिशन टॉकिंग अबाउट रेगुलेशन एंड देन इज नॉट जस्ट टॉकिंग अबाउट प्रोहिबिशन एज अ सोल्यूशन ही इज टॉकिंग अबाउट स्पिरिचुअलाइजेशन विच इज असेंशियली द रिजल्ट ऑफ प्यूरिफिकेशन प्यूरिफिकेशन मीन्स Uh, not the rejection of desire but the redirection of desire from material things to spiritual things to ultimately the highest spiritual reality krishna so when we want to make a positive change in society the primary thrust has to be purification now some amount of regulation and in some cases prohibition may be helpful but the thrust has to be purification when we give people the intelligence to help them understand that they are meant for higher happiness that their souls they are meant for higher happiness and by purification they can they won't be losing happiness they will be gaining higher happiness then they become ready and then if we if we provide in the process of bhakti yoga which gives them easy access to higher happiness then they will accept the path of purification and thus that purification will be the lasting solution thank you hare krishna